Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel for a speed remodel. I'm Mommy Simmer and I am. At, this is actually a remodel for one of my live stream families. This is a um, house in Aurora Skies. It's just one of the regular starter homes that's there. Um, I've added on to it, of course, obviously, if you guys know which house this is, you can tell I've added on to it already, but my Sim who is the founder of a Pritacy Challenge, which is why up in the top middle there is, you know, the bright orange skin color and the crazy looking clothes. Yeah, Pritacy, breeding out that ugly, enough said. But, um, yeah, she just had triplets, and the layout was so bad that in order to have the triplets have a bedroom, I actually had to put them into... I had to put the door to their room into her bedroom. So I decided while I was off screen, because I just had to reinstall all of my custom content and store content. So I was going in making sure everybody was showing up good, fixing anybody who wasn't. And I figured I'd go ahead and, hey, why not um, try to uh, go ahead and remodel this house? So you guys get to see it. Yay. I'm feeling a little silly tonight. It is uh, 11 o'clock. I didn't sleep at all last night. I had a, a nap today. And then a nap tonight, but that's literally all I've had. So, yeah, it's been a little crazy. But anyways, you can see I just added the bedrooms. The master one is the one that I painted first. And then the bathroom right next to it. On the other side is the nursery and the boys' room. And um, now I'm trying to find those lights because it was... <sighs> it doesn't look dark for you guys, but um, on my screen, I can't get the color just right. Because I use a TV monitor and I finally managed to hook it up with an HDMI cable. And the color won't, the color's not right, so it was a little dark for me. So I do remove those eventually, though. But And I don't leave it that, you know, plain cream wall color either. I just had it on there and I customize it later. So, And I was having issues with stuff being stuck in the family inventory. I don't know. Maybe I just need to save my, you know, my live stream families and stuff to the bin and move them into a new uh, copy of, or I don't know, a whole new town maybe. I don't know. Anyways, here I'm working on the kitchen and, uh, Poorly uh, planned out because I ended up having to put the fridge across the room, but I actually ended up kind of liking it over there. So, you know, it works. It works. Now, um, this is a, um, obviously this is uh, sped up quite a bit. It is. It was originally a um, 30 minute video and I've sped it down to 10 minutes. I don't know what that would count as, you know, eight times, two times, four times, whatever, but it is sped up. I hope it's not too fast, but <clears throat> yeah. There's the little living room area. I do eventually um, add a TV and all of that stuff. So, um, But right now I'm just trying to get everything that's in the family inventory out. So, yep, and the bathroom. Ta-da! Now I go ahead and remove the light from there. And now we're going to, yeah, that's what I thought, yeah. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to removing them in here. <coughs> Yeah, this is where those lights are so tiny and dark. So tiny. And with her room, I added some end tables with some lamps anyways. So having only the one light worked out okay. Now, originally the boys had separate bedrooms. And then off the back where the nursery is now, the nursery was originally there. But it was too small for more than two cribs. So I actually had one of the cribs out in the dining room, and um, it just, it wasn't working. To get to the nursery, you had to go through the master bedroom, and it was ridiculous, so, yeah. I went ahead and, um, I changed back to the uh, cheaper, smaller cribs there, because, um, yeah, it, uh, Th those fancy fancy ones are really cute they really are they're all fancy and really nice but they're huge they seem to take up so much space and they're a pain in the butt to zoom around so yeah see I, I really end up liking how the fridge is over there kind of catty cornered in that corner so and oh and now we are at windows and I love how if you put a big window in the bathroom it actually goes all privacy gla privacy glass on me so like it goes all N opaque and not really see-through so it's pretty cool and I'm sorry if you can hear the dinging of my phone in the background my bad guys and you can probably hear my son in the background at 11 p.m. still awake I am so sorry but this is my second take recording it and I really really don't want to re-record the voiceover so anyways yeah 
Oh, yeah. Um, I couldn't fit the, um, whatchamacallit, in the house, the uh, playpen, so I decided to go ahead and put it outside, and I ended up making it a, uh, nice, making a nice little play area out there. So, I think it turned out nice. I think I had the, the little, uh, spring rider sandbox, some, uh, some, uh, uh swing set. So... Yeah, I think this is where we're going. Yeah, okay. I think we're going. No, we're extending the porch because I do add a grill um, outside as well as a bench. It's really, uh, I don't know. I just felt like they needed something. The adults needed something outside too. So now, let's see. Where do we go next? Where do we go? Oh, I had so much trouble settling on what grill to use. And I love that little bench there. <clears throat> I'm not sure why I'm a little sniffly. I do apologize for that. Um, I'm not sick or anything, so I don't know what's going on. But I'm just a little sniffly this evening with maybe allergies or something. I'm not sure. Uh, now, if anyone is wondering what is the story behind the fact that she has this, you know, poker type bed here, it is because she is, I mean, she's hideously ugly. And... I asked my uh, live stream viewers what they wanted to name her, and somebody suggested Roberta, and another one suggested Betty. So we decided that we would combine them, and her name is Betberta. We call her, and her last name is Re uh, Regina, which sounds vaguely dirty, but actually it means queen. We call her Queen Betberta. So I just felt like, you know, Queen, you know, Queen of Hearts or whatever, Queen of Diamonds, Queen Baberta, it fits right in. So I went with that. And I know those sunflowers don't match on that vanity, by the way. My bad. <sighs> Where are we at now? Oh, yes. Adding in the stereo. I had so much trouble getting that just like I wanted it. But if I had uh, extended, instead of going diagonal right there where that wall is, if I had just extended it straight out, it would have just been basically a little unusable piece of, you know, one square area. I remove all of these uh, paintings from the boys' room as well. I'll get in there um, eventually and, you know, really uh, deck out their room and everything. But for now, you know, she I started off with six grand to remodel this house. So I didn't want to overdo it. Of course, as soon as I finished this, um, her son, Bobbert, which is, yes, Bobbert, he got um, almost three grand from the consignment shop. So I could have gone a little further, but I didn't know at the time. So I love that little, um, that one right there with the little rabbits. It almost looks like Peter Rabbit. I love it. It's so cute for the nurseries. So... I did not go too super creative with the um, wallpapers in most of the rooms. The, the main living area, I just went with kind of a chocolate color. Now, but in Betberta's room, boy, did I go all out. I, I, you can see me going through all of the patterns that had red in them. I go through every single one of them. And eventually, I was surprised at the one I finally settled on. It's like little cir it's like cir I don't know how to explain. It's adorable. I really like it. It works really well in her room. And my god, the uh tiles and mosaic choices in the uh in this in the creative style suck. But that was the only one that I saw that I was like, "Hey, I really like that for a bathroom." It repeats a little bit, but it's not um as bad as some of the ones that I've seen. So of course, finding a floor to match it was a real pain in the butt. But yeah, um, this is uh, I'm nearly at an end here, so yeah, I'm gonna. Um, if you guys have not seen my live streams, please, please, please come check them out. Um, we do a courtesy challenge over there. We also do a 100 baby challenge over there, and sometimes I just um, play whatever random family I feel like playing. So definitely come check it out. I'll try to put some sort of little video up about the 100 baby family before long. And there's the founder right there, by the way. <laughs> but I'll try to put up maybe a... Uh, I've been thinking about moving them to a new town and building a new house, so maybe I'll put up a speed build of their house at some point. So anyways, I want to thank you guys so much for watching and... Yeah. Oh, I'm adding in the puppy, the dog stuff. I forgot. Their dog's name is OxyClean, by the way. So, anyways, thank you so, so, so much for watching. And I love you guys so much. And I will, uh, yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye.